go to Noah Kravitz right now, editor in chief at Phone Dog Media. How are you, Noah? I, I'm I'm flabbergasted by that story, man. But otherwise, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, can you believe that? It's so, so serious. I, Look, it's it's unbelievable. A, it's leaning against the rock. Just move it. You're, you're <laughs> going to damage your body. You're going to damage your golf club. And now there's certainly uh, start a fire. Yeah, the yeah. precedent is you're going to damage the environment. All right, let's, stop, yeah. let's stop taking this so seriously. The only thing worse than that, uh, though, Noah, are people on their iPhones. And I've never experienced this, but I'm sure I will soon now. People using their iPads on the golf course. That is going to really cheese me off the next time I'm out there playing and someone's using it. But the way things are going, uh, that's probably next down the road, isn't it? Every once in a while, we get some uh, review requests at, at Phone Dog for uh, new iPad apps, and I've seen a few, you know, golf scorekeeper kind of things. I don't know. I, I'm not a golfer, but doesn't the scorecard and the pencil work all right? I don't know. I don't it, know. it does, but again, it's it's the way people are with their eye stuff, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe iCart is going to come out next. And there you go. The golf there cart you go. completely uh, affixed with iP Apple stuff. We know that's not going to happen today in about 15 right. minutes, but something is going to happen today when Apple has another announcement. What do you think it's going to be? Well, um, you know, for a while we've been saying it's their fall event is traditionally about iPods and, you know, loosely associated with music as iPods have become more multimedia and not just music, you know, that's kind of grown. But we're expecting to see a new iPod Touch um, based around the iPhone 4 design, probably with a camera or maybe two cameras to do the video chatting, uh, possibly a new iPod Nano. The, the most interesting thing possibly, though, is not related to hardware, but more related to software and uh, business. You alluded to, you know, probably a new version of iTunes. And um, Apple announced yesterday that they'll be live streaming the event uh, to only to Apple devices, of course. Mm. Uh, Windows users aren't going to be able to see the stream. But they'll be video casting the event live. And the speculation is that they're doing this uh, as much for the press as to stress test. They built a $1 billion data center down in North Carolina a while ago. Uh, so far as everybody knows, it hasn't really been deployed for commercial use yet. So that combined with all this talk about iTunes in the cloud, they bought a company called Lala a while back that specializes in streaming music. Uh, so lots of talk about iTunes in the cloud coming. So, so the, the you know, conventional wisdom, if there is such a thing in the uh, tech blogosphere, right now is that they're live streaming the event to do a real, uh, real world stress test on the data center. And that's kind of preparing wow. for you know, a move towards streaming music and or video. Uh, the other thing going on that relates to that is lots of talk recently, some reports and some of the financial um, publications that Apple has struck deals with uh, ABC, which makes sense because the whole Disney Steve Jobs connection, also with Fox, also uh, possibly with Netflix mm. to um, start offering uh, 99 cent TV episode rentals and then also uh, the Netflix instant streaming service through uh, the iProducts and possibly a new version of the Apple TV product wow. uh, that lots of people think will be announced today. It's interesting, too, uh, the same day that Amazon uh, said right. that they're going to start offering it, too. Uh, yep. The big players seem to come to the fore at the same time, often with these type of announcements, don't they? They, they do. Um, also going on right now over in Germany is IFA, which is actually, uh, the, I believe it's the world's largest consumer electronics show, even a little bit bigger than CES here in the States. Uh, Sony has a press conference going on. Uh, it was going on when I, I came on the show. I don't know if it's over yet. And they announced, not yet for the U.S., but they also announced uh, kind of a, an update to a similar service. So you're right on the money with that. Uh, everybody, you know, kind of following each other. TV, video is, is really, I think, the new battleground um, in, I mean, may as well call everything mobile these days because you can do it all, you know, on the golf course on your iDevice. Yeah, but I, I think TV streaming video, big battleground. Obviously, Google TV yep. uh, set to launch. So, yeah, so so we'll look for that. Obviously, the new hardware, uh, rumors possibly of a, uh, a Lady Gaga sighting in the building. So, you know, if that's your cup of tea. But on the business front, I think the whole battle for – you know, entertainment in the cloud, as people like to call it. Yep. And what's going to happen with TV? You know, Verizon, uh, a few weeks ago, demoed a version of their Fios cable TV service running on an iPad. That was just a prototype. Wow. But so, you know, lots of talk about that. You know, do, do the cable operators, you know, they, they don't want to become a dumb pipe, but can they kind of get in this to stream the media directly? And, you know, what's going to happen to subscription TV? I'm not going anywhere until ESPN's available uh, you know, uh, direct to my device because I got to watch my sports. You but and I, uh, other, 
Yeah, yeah. Football season is starting. You and I are on the same page here. You there you go. Right. You know, we are simpatico on that. Real quick on the hardware, <laughs> I had just one quick yeah. question on the iPods. Are these minor changes and tweaks continuing to be enough to get people to come out and buy new iPods? Do we have enough saturation to where these minor uh, introductions, or even if they're not as minor, are getting the next generation to say, it's time to, to either jump in or to do away with my old iPod and get a new one? Right. That's a great question. I think it's actually becoming a, an industry-wide question with all the phones and the, the handheld media devices. Uh, on Apple's front, uh, the answer is still yes, based on you know the sales of, of the iPhone 4 that launched. Um, obviously, the iPad, that's a new product, but but somewhat similar. Uh, but, but a good question, interesting to see over the coming months. I think the big thing today is, does the new iPod Touch, will it have that super high resolution display and also the uh, what Apple calls FaceTime, that video chatting yeah. capability? Uh, I think those will be enough to, to keep pushing it forward. Uh, interesting to see also if, if Apple discontinues the old school iPod with the, with the hard drive in there. Used to be, you know, their tagline was, uh, you know, thousands of songs in your pocket. The new devices, if they if they get rid of the iPod Classic, the new devices will max out at you know a fraction of your music collection, not the whole music collection. So, uh, yeah. you know that that the tweaks that the consumer see, but then also those behind the thing, behind the scenes things that could lead up to that streaming service. All interesting stuff for sure. I, I guess what's next might be thousands of songs in the cloud above you, okay. not in your exactly. Mind, you know? All right, Noah. Yeah. Good to see you, Noah. Always good to see you. Take care. And uh, I, I'm near a golf course, actually. I'm going to go talk to those guys about the rocks. Please. That, that fire thing scared Please. me. Yeah. Again, yeah. it's not a man-made object, but still very dangerous. Thanks, Noah. No, absolutely. Thanks. Have a good one. Noah Kravitz. From, uh, he's the editor-in-chief, of course, of Phone Dog Media. Love having him on board, talking about this uh, announcement that's about 10 minutes away.